hey guys, I'm going to um, talk about Kalina's 15 month update. Um, and yeah, she's over here. Say hi, Kamaya. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. <laughs> um, sorry how I look. It's been a very long weekend. I still got a cold. Tell my voice. Um, look at this paper. For 15 months. Uh, a few weeks ago after we left from her doctor, well, when we were at our doctor's appointment. Uh, I want to talk about that and how she's doing so far. She's doing great. For, she's getting over her cold. All I have now is pretty much a runny nose and a sore throat. And my voice is pretty much gone. So, yeah, and yeah, it's been a very long weekend. Um, it says, like, some of the things your child should be doing by now, and it's very helpful stuff. It says, your child will imitate your activities, like sweeping and playing with dishes. Sweeping, she does with the broom whenever I sweep. She'll, like, after I'm done, she'll get the broom, and she'll try to sweep. It's so cute. Um, he, she will listen to a story being read. She does actually do that now. Uh, a lot more than what she was before. She used to not want to stay still. And now she sits still a little longer and even reads herself. Well, she talks and acts like she's reading. She's a lot more vocal. So much vocal. I'm so excited. She's saying sentences now. Um, things like that. It's, it's crazy how much she's saying now. Um, he, she may become attached to a particular object and may suck a pacifier or a finger as self-comforting behavior. She does still suck a pacifier, but we've been only trying to give it to her whenever she like cries or like papa or something. She has seduction. She's gonna want it. Um, that's usually around nap time, unless she finds a pasty around the house somewhere. She puts it in her mouth. She's been doing that a lot lately too, but she's been really good. I think it's helping her be vocal. We want to um, break her from the passy by the time she is uh, two years old. Because I don't want her to get that. If you look online at the mouse, it looks pretty terrible. I don't want her to get that. We'll rely on it tons. Um, strange anxiety is very common at this age. That, I guess she gets very anxious when she loses it and she really wants it. Or her pacifier, um, I don't know. She, she's not that bad about things, though. But she will throw tantrums. Throw, like, fall on the floor and start screaming. Unfortunately, she's night terrors sometimes. Something that really saddens us. Because her life is not terrible or anything, so we didn't know why she had night terrors. I actually have a video of it, and we've talked to her doctor about it. And yeah, he says what night terrors is, and usually they'll get rid of it. leave by the time they're toddlers, usually, but I don't know. I'm hoping. Sorry, I keep looking different places. There's her climbing all on me, and then there's the paper, and yeah. Um. At this age, your toddler has no idea what good or bad means, nor he does he or she understand rules of warnings. That is not true. Because when I get on her, she'll cover her face like she knows she did something wrong. I won't yell at her anything. I'll be like, Kamaya, and she did this, and she'll cover her face in, like, knowing what she did. So I don't know if that's all around true. Discipline is more than punishment. It is love. And affection. Praise your toddler for d doing good and her accomplishments or his accomplishments. We do that. We try to do that at least. Um, and uh, let's see. Pay special attention when your child is tired, hungry, edit. We do that too. If she seems hungry, we feed her. And if she's tired, we bring her, put her down for a nap. But, like yesterday, I found her in the clothes basket asleep with her pillow. She's attached to her pillow. It's a blue pillow. I found her sleeping in the basket in the kitchen. I was like, what? 
so she could just fall right asleep. I mean, she, could, she could be standing up playing, and then like two seconds later, she's asleep somewhere. But I picked her up and put her on the bed. Mm, sleep. Remember to change your regular bedtime routine. That is something we still have not got down as a routine. Unfortunately, we try what we can to get her to go to sleep at night, but I think the naps throughout the day have like really pushed her behind on her sleeping schedule. Which we had, we were putting her to bed at like 9, 10. I know that seems light for some, but she doesn't even want to do that a lot of times now unless she's been really, really wore out. So, I tried to play with her the other day and get her to be wore out and hope she goes to bed after she gets her bath. Give her a bath every night. And then she still drinks milk sometimes, but she's not as wanting the milk as much. So, I don't know. Try your best not to take your child out of the crib at night. She doesn't even sleep in the crib. She's had a bed since she's been a year old. She's only slept in it a couple times, and she still co-sleeps with us. Um, I like the comfort of knowing she's there, and if a fire or something happens, we could just grab her and run. And so, um, thank you. I like knowing that. I like the safety of it. Um, he, she should not be offered food or drinks if he, she wakes up during the night. Uh, well... I think we've given her drinks so she's woken up, unfortunately for us. I don't think we followed that one very well. He, she may not, may nap once or twice a day when she does that. Nightmares may cure you. She gets those, so unfortunately. Um, what else? She says thank you a lot, and she says hi and bye, but she's been saying bye for a while. But today she's like, hi, and was waving at her dad, but he came home. Um... So, I'm actually really excited about things she's been doing. Your child will have a sporadic appetite and will skip meals. I hope I said that word right. This is a normal development stage and you should not try to force him or her to eat, which we don't do. I always try to give her foods and a variety of things. Um, but she does, skip, she does skip meals sometimes, but not that often. Sometimes she only eats a little bit and not that much, and it worries me. And I'm like, oh, you need to eat some Kamaya, but I'm not going to force you. So we just let her be. So you just give her more drink or something. I try to let her have water throughout the day. Um, more water, um, like, because sugary drinks are not good. Um, but we do give her some sugary drinks. But I try to offer more water than anything. Or she'll bring me, like, water bottles, and I, like, open them for her. She'll say, dink. Think, and that's what we do. Um, he, she will usually be feeding himself, herself at this age, but should not be offered choking foods such as popcorn, nuts, grapes, raisins, and chewing gum. Well, she's had um, raisins before. She's had popcorn and grapes before. But she's pretty good about not choking her food, thankfully. He, she should be weaned completely from the bottle by this time, and she is. No more bottles for her. She's on pure sippy cups, and she drinks out of, like, like water bottles and things like that. Like the bug juice, we put, like, juice, other juice inside of that, and she drinks perfectly out of the bug juice thing. She drinks the straw. She can, you know, she's been doing that since she's been a year old, too. Me before then, but... Yeah. The vitamin supplements are usually not necessary, but give... Fluoride supplements if you have well water. We have been giving her SpongeBob vitamins and she loves those. Can I see that paper monkey? <laughs> give me that. You give me that. So she ripped the paper. Um we give her vitamins though, and because I want her to be built strong and everything, no weak bones. <coughs> what else? Pay special. Oh, yeah, I do this one. Be prepared for temper tantrums and ignore them. Redirect attention. I've done that. Um, I used to be like, why I don't throw tantrums or something like that, but now when she does, I just walk away sometimes, and she will stop completely, get up, and just act like nothing ever happened. So it really does work wonders. Allow your child to make some choices. We do that. We let them let her pick out her clothes or 
pick out um, what she wants or to eat or something like that. She does get choices and something we like. Um, let's see. Safety. Accidents are still very common, especially falls. She falls so much. Her poor little legs are covered in bruises and it makes me so sad. I'm like, ugh, poor baby. Um, watch out for burns. She's not had any burns. Outlet covers should be covered, and they are. Balloons are plastic bags or choking hazards. She's never ate a balloon. Never leave your child alone. And keep points control number near you. Your child may have a three to six word vocabulary and will be constantly adding words. She's has she could say over probably twenty five to thirty words. She's really good about that. He, she will use jargon, gestures, jargon and gestures. He, she will indicate wants to be pulling, pointing, grunting, grunting or screaming. She does that. They will scribble with the crayon and can stick one block in another. She scribbles. She loves to color and write. He, she can point to two body parts. She knows most of her face parts and she knows her feet and all that. Now the time to buy a potty to place in the bathroom. Even though she he or she may not be ready, we have one. She is not very interested in it. She used that. She peed her poop. She's peed in it like three times. And that's that was like when she was a year old. We tried at a year old, and we kept trying. And now she doesn't seem very interested, which we keep trying still on and off. But I really want to cut down and try that. Get off of diapers. And there's immunization things about that. And last week she's a doctor. She was 22 pounds and 12 ounces. Uh, 33 and a half and one fourth inches, and her head size is 18 and a half inches. So that was March 8th, 2013. In the back is uh, some things about shots and pounds and medicine and all that. I think it's more about a medicine chart. Well, that's all. And uh, I mean, I want to do another update on other things, but. For now, that's it. We, she has a backpack now. Not like a back bag. She has this. She loves mini. Got from Walmart. And that's what we usually carry around things with it sparkly. Um, that's about all. So, thanks for watching. And I want to keep updated on Kamaya. Come on, you say bye. Come here and say bye. She hates leaving hair things, which is why her hair is always in her face. She pulls them out as soon as I put them in. But I try. Say bye. Why did you find your passy? Say bye. Bye-bye. 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 Go mwah. Bye.